Hey guys, it's Glitch Hunters here, and today I'm going to show you on how to do the SND XP lobby. And it's very simple to do once you get the hang of it. So, what you do need is two controllers and a mouse. Yes, I'm sorry, but you do need these. If you don't have these, then I recommend doing the other method or just buy yourself a mouse, it's cheap. Just get one, <laughs> it's easier. Okay, so what you want to do is load into the game of multiplayer and then just back out and go to local. Okay, just go into multiplayer and create your match. Then you want your second controller to sign in and you want to sign it into a guest. So you want to press add user and go to quick play. Once you've gone to quick play, just sign in. Then press your PS button and go to a multiplayer playlist and press start activity, which is your square button. Then you want to cancel the search. Sometimes it takes some time, but it works. Okay. So now you know you've done it correctly because it says one out of six, but you can still move around with your second controller. Okay. So now what you want to do is go to operators with your second controller, click on it and then press circle. Okay. This will give you a UI error. Just dismiss it and then press social and back out of social. Now you have created a stack, the start of the stack. Okay. So now we just want to go to custom games and we want to stack the edit game rules, change mode and change map. Okay. So first things first, we want the mode to be on search and destroy from here. Okay. So change it to search and destroy, just the default. Okay. So now we want to stack the edit game rules. So click on it with your first controller, go to settings and win conditions. Then with your second controller, press circle. This will create a new UI error. Just dismiss it, press settings, come off settings, and then press social and then come off social. Okay. Now with your second controller, you need to imagine you are in custom games. So you can press the play option, the change mode, change map, edit game rules, and the players and bots options. Okay. So with your second controller, we want to go down to edit game rules. So if you press all the way down, so just keep hold down on your D pad and then press up one. And then with your, and then with your first controller, press X, you will go on with X. You will have edit game rules on top of edit game rules. Now just go into your win conditions and now you have stacked. Okay. Now if you back out and back out and back out, you will be able to move lobbies with this option on screen. Okay. Now we want to do the same thing for the modes and the map. Okay. So to do the modes, what we want to do is back out and leave lobby. So now we are a multiplayer. Okay. Now we want to go back into custom games. Now we are in custom games again. With your second controller, scroll all the way down, scroll up, up. So now we are hovering over change mode. With your first controller, press X. Now we are in change mode and now we want search and destroy. So don't wait here. Wait in this bit. Okay. Now with your 
second controller, go to my saves, and then go to official again, okay? Now with your second controller, press circle. This will create a UI error again. Click off it. Now with your first controller, press settings, come off settings, press social, come off social. Now with your second controller, scroll all the way down again press up one for edit game rules press up one for change mode now press x on your second controller come off it and then press x nope didn't work okay if it doesn't work just try it again so my saved back again second controller Come off the UI error, press settings, come off, social, come off, X on your second controller, come off it, and then press X on your first controller. Now you've done it again. Now it works. Okay? So if you just fail it, just do what I just did, do it again, and you will be able to eventually do it. Okay? Just press search and destroy it again. Now we have stacked the modes, okay? So now we come back out, back out. Now the modes have stayed there. Now we need to do the same thing with the maps, okay? So we need to back out, lobby. Now we need to go back into custom games. Now for the maps, so with your second controller, press down one and go to maps and press X and you are open maps. Now with your second controller, press circle, you will create a UI error, press dismiss, press settings, come off settings, press social, come off social, and then with your second controller, scroll all the way down again, and go to maps. I like to scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then scroll all the way back to the top, and then just press down one. Now with your second controller, press X, and then come off it, and then with your first controller, press X again. Now you've got maps, okay? So you've got maps on top of maps. Now you can back out, and then leave lobby. Now we want to bring this to zombies, okay? So to make this a lot easier, you can back out, back out back out all the way to the title screen okay now go into the game go to zombies once you have gone to zombies and your friend has joined you i don't have any friend to join me at the minute so i'm just going to show you without a friend so what you want to do is go down to private and do an outbreak okay then you want to go to operators so you can see your screen more and then wait until you are the host. Now you know you're the host because it says connecting to services. Then it will do a little loading thing here. Now it's done. Go to Nuketown, confirm it, click it again, go to search and destroy. Now you can change your settings to unlimited. Change down. Now change your life to unlimited. And now you've got, there you go guys. Now you can change these as well if you like. Win, bomb, respawn and gameplay. Let's disable the cinematic intro, shall we? Now you can change them too, but when your friend joins you, you need to press social and leave party. Okay? If you don't do that, they will be on your team. And you don't want that. You want them to be on the opposite team so you can keep killing them. Or they keep killing you. Okay? So as you can see, I've got unlimited time. I've got unlimited score because it does not say how many rounds to win. And I should have more than one life. Okay. So 
Grenade kill. There you go. I respawned. Okay. So that's how you can do it. It's very easy to do once you get the hang of it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I couldn't show it with a friend. I had a little bit of an issue of the cannot join party. Da 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 da. Fix your game, Treyarch. Jesus. Okay. So I hope you did enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, if you have any trouble, join my Discord. Talk to me on Twitter. Let us know, and I will help you as much as we can. Okay. So like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe. Hope you liked it. I've already said that. Please end the video.